YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through whether or not pre-workout is needed and if you should be taking it. Because like I said before, if this is poor, adding pre-workout isn't going to make this better. This is still going to be shit. Pre-workout is quite a big topic within the fitness industry because you have a lot of athletes, influencers, promoters using pre-workout and potentially, you know, trying to sell it alongside it and therefore a lot of people see that and believe that they need to be taking pre-workout to get the best results now pre-workout might have some benefits yes however those benefits are actually going to be very minute very minimal and instead there's other things we need to be focusing on first before we even consider taking pre-workout which are going to bring us much bigger benefits for our efforts. I'm going to walk you through what those other things are that we need to take into consideration and nail first. So then once you're confident that you're nailing them and getting the most out of them, if you want to then take pre-workout, you can and you can get those little added benefits. But if we're not focused on taking um, these factors that I'm going to walk through first seriously and nailing them, pre-workout in itself is still only going to bring minimal benefits, but it's actually probably going to bring even less than it would if everything else we're going to go through is first and uh, nailed. If you do find the video helpful, please drop a like. If you have any questions for out down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Let's go. Okay, first and foremost, we have training stimulus. And by training stimulus, I basically mean the quality of your training. Okay, so this is going to include a little, a lot of little different factors, right? But this is, this is the reason why this is number one and the first most important thing is because if you're going to take pre-workout, the idea of taking pre-workout is that it's gonna give you a little added benefit to your session, right? You might be able to train a little bit harder, you might be able to, you know, performance might be a little bit increased. However, if our training stimulus and our training quality is not very good, taking that pre-workout is then pretty much pointless. Because if we're gonna have a little bit more energy and feel like we can train better, but our training quality is poor, then we're basically training better with poor quality training, which doesn't really make much sense. Right? We want to make sure our training quality is top tier and on point so that if we can then boost our performance or energy or whatever towards our training, we're doing it alongside great quality training that is already set. So some of the things we want to really make sure we're nailing with our training quality and stimulus before we even consider taking pre-workout is going to be stuff like form and execution of our movements, okay? So is our form and execution absolutely on point? Intensity, so are we managing to train hard enough before we even take pre-workout? Okay, are we managing to train to the point where we only feel like we've got one, two reps left in the tank while keeping form and execution absolutely solid? And then the program that we're following, is that program structured for us? Is that program layout and order good? Are we getting the most out of our training sessions? These are just a few things we've got to consider to ensure that our training performance and quality and stimulus is then as good as it can be before we've got to worry about the time percentages when it comes to stuff like supplements. Because like I said before, if this is poor, adding pre-workout isn't going to make this better. This is still going to be shit. And secondly, we have recovery, which again, is going to have a lot of little different factors which are going to come on to play into it. But why recovery is so key is because a lot of time people take pre-workout, they're taking pre-workout because they're not feeling 100% when they come into a session, right? A lot of people might take pre-workout because it gets them going for the session. You know, mentally it wakes them up, physically makes them feel like they've got more energy and they're ready to go. A big issue to that is that it's just masking poor recovery, okay? Ideally, if you're managing a lot of different things very well, when it comes to your training, you should be ready to train. You should feel good. You should feel energetic. You should be feeling good mentally. You should be ready to go in and have a very, very good session. And if you're not and you're having to take pre-workout, that to me says that somewhere along the process with these different factors, your recovery is poor. So some things we can look at. First and foremost, big one, sleep. Is our sleep good? Are we getting good quality sleep? When we're going to sleep, are we feeling tired? When we wake up, are we feeling relatively awake? Is our sleep interrupted through the night? And if it is, then that's potentially something we need to fix. 
Are we getting a good amount of sleep on a consistent basis? Our volume, how much volume we're doing within our sessions. Are we actually recovering from that volume? Or are we doing a lot of junk volume? Okay, so we're doing a lot of volume where we're actually past the point where we're giving ourselves a good stimulus and we're just doing volume for the sake of it. When we come to train that same muscle group the next time, are we fully recovered by then? Or have we still got DOMS? If our volume is too high and we're not recovering well, then we need to make some adjustments. Nutrition. Are we taking in enough food? One for our training and two for our goal. Is the, tra is the food that we're taking in of good quality? Again, similar to the training stimulus, if we're not prioritising these things and nailing these things, taking pre-workout on top of it it's just going to mask this and if anything actually isn't going to help and it's probably actually taken away from the results that you can get because you're masking this and you're not addressing what is the actual real issue and then lastly we've got dependence so what I mean by this is when people are taking pre-workout on a consistent basis for a long time they almost get to the point where they depend on that pre-workout to have a good session and if they no longer have that pre-workout their session feels like it's a bit shit and they're not getting very much out of it. They're not getting a good training stimulus, right? The easy way around this is that you just potentially manage the amount of pre-workout you're taking better, or you have periods where you actually don't take it, so you don't become so accustomed to it. But I would just be careful that you don't become dependent on pre-workout if you're gonna take it on a consistent basis. However, this definitely shouldn't be something you even need to consider or be worried about if these two things aren't nailed, because you shouldn't be taking pre-workout if these two things aren't nailed, right? So make sure your training stimulus is already on point. Make sure your recovery is already on point. Then decide if you need pre-workout. If you still want to take pre-workout because you think it's going to give you a little bit of an added benefit, and it will only be that, a little bit of an added benefit. It's not going to do anything crazy. Don't believe the hype. Then you can take it. Okay, and then it might give you a little added benefit. Yes. If you're then going to take it, just be careful that you don't become completely dependent on it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.